Hey, it's like I mean ministries, private and personal chef services are we're praying with you. Delivering kingdom business, what's the what, 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 period, in Christ Jesus' name. Yes, we have reached year three in being victorious with Christ Jesus. And this year we are diving into Romans 8. We will be having live videos of me doing the run and us praying we have to have to keep praying in all that we do that's the only way we get to access christ jesus and all the things that he has for us here on earth remember that we are running a mile a day to keep the enemy at bay amen a mile a day to keep the enemy at bay and I pray that this year blesses you. And this year we are wearing our armor and we are remembering Ephesians 6, 10 through 20. Ephesians 6, 10 to 20 as we continue to remember Romans 8. And Romans 8, we'll be praying that into our lives as we continue to give God glory for all that he's done and all that he's going to continue to do. Amen. Now, you guys be great and enjoy these prayers. These prayers are for you to build your prayer life with Christ. And they are blessing me too. Um, I ask God to fill me up so that I can overflow into all that he's called me to be. I am not perfect, but through Christ who strengthened us, that's where my strength comes from. I pray that your strength comes from there as well. Wear the full armor and live in the spirit in just one moment we will be praying romans 8 into our lives i don't know what chapter it is for for whatever day it is but for now we will be reading romans 8 Romans 8 tells us life in the spirit how are we to conduct ourselves living in the spirit the holy spirit amen and that's what we aim to do here on this platform we serve the father and no one else on this platform we serve christ and no one else on this platform we serve the holy spirit and no one else now come on in and tap in into being victorious with Christ Jesus. You have no other victory if you don't have Christ Jesus. So that's why we claim victory in Christ Jesus. That's why we keep being victorious with Christ Jesus. Here on this platform, who do we serve? Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and no one else. Please stay tuned for the videos. Our TikTok, we have a prayer every um, for the whole year in the book for Power of Prayer. And you guys can um, tap into that too. You guys can tap into, you know, my Facebook and Instagram and also my YouTube channel. So now you guys be great. And as we continue to celebrate and commemorate God for all that he's done for us and all that he's going to continue to do for us, we will dwell in these readings and prayers. Now, you keep bringing great, like Eileen Ministries, private and personal chef services, and we're praying with you, delivering kingdom business, what's the what, 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 period, in Christ Jesus' name, and know you are loved, and you can be taught the word of God, and you can understand the word of God, as long as you put the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit in the mix, you will not fail. So, may God's grace cover you. May God's wisdom cover you. May God's strength cover you. May God's word cover you. May God's strength cover you when you are weak. So you will know that the only true strength comes from the Most High. Now, let's get into prayer. Romans 8. Let's be great. Romans 8 verse 9, Romans 8 verse 9, and it reads, But you are not ruled by your sinful selves. You are ruled by the Spirit. If that Spirit of God really lives in you. But whoever does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to Christ. But you are not ruled by your sinful selves. You are ruled by the Spirit. If that Spirit of God really lives in you. But whoever does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to Christ. 
Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. We are not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. <coughs> Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. Do us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Huh? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day <coughs> our daily bread. Forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Heavenly Father, we come before you remembering Romans 8 verse 9. And Romans 8 verse 9 tells us, But us, we are not ruled by our sinful selves. We are ruled by the Spirit. And that Spirit of God really lives in us. If you really live in us, Father God, we are ruled by you. If you said what your word said, Father God, you are living in us. If you are really living in us, we follow you. And I pray that we continue to remember to follow him. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, you said that your sheep know your voice. So, Father God, in order for you, with us to know your voice, we got to know your word. We got to know what your word says about what we're supposed to do here on earth. So, Father God, give us the word in order for us to know what to do on here on earth. In the name of Jesus, Father God. Father God, because the enemy is prowling to see who, who he will devour, who he wants to devour, but we, he cannot have us because we have you are ruling us. You are ruling us. You are giving us... Um, <clears throat> You have not given us the spirit of fear, but of love and of a sound mind. So, Father God, any other fear, any other um, spirit that tries to come against us would not prosper because it says you are in us. If you're really ruling in us, Father God, you, we are ruled by you. If God, the spirit of God really lives in us. But whoever does not have the spirit of Christ does not belong to Christ. And Father God, that sentence alone makes me irk. Because it says, but whoever does not have the spirit of have the spirit of Christ does not belong to you. So, Father God, this is what you paid the price for. You paid the price for that your blood could be an example of what we need in order for us to get a um, <clears throat> for us to get a taste to taste and see what you, that the Lord is real, that you are real, that your kingdom is real, that we must follow your kingdom for real. And this is not no play joke thing. This is a thing that we must do so we can have a stamp on our eternal life in the name of Jesus. A stamp on everything that we do in the name of Jesus. Father God, we know that we are sinners. That's why you created grace. That's why you created mercy. And you said that my people would need this all the days of their lives. So by the time they come to you, Father God, we will be free from whatever it is and look like your son, which you've called us to be, Father God, looking like your image in the name of Jesus so we can be continue to be the salt of the earth. So we can continue to be the light that you put through us father god thank you thank you that you no matter what father god you are here you never left our side father god you are the oil you are the oil the fire and whatever element we need at the moment you are the water because you, you said you cleanse us, Father God. The Spirit cleanses us, Father God. Thank you for that. You are the air because you said it's your air in our lungs, Father God. We are fire, Father God, because it's the fire of the Holy Ghost that have to rise up within us so we can do what you have called us to do, so we can be what you have called us to be. Father God, we don't want this world. This, we're just passing through, but Father God, we know that in you, that there is no, no rival, no equal, because you are the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, and you are the ultimate master. So 
So no matter what plot the enemy have, you have a plan. You have a plan to prosper us and make us be what we need to be for you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. <clears throat> Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, because you continue to give me a chance to be up under your feet, to sit at your feet, to, to remember who you are at your feet. Thank you, Father God, because we live by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony and not by our sinful selves. But whoever does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to Christ. And that's why you say we have to accept you. We have to accept you to come into our lives and do what only you can do, Father God. That's you bring us to the best community. You bring us to the right people. You bring us to the right things, even though some things may come and tear our heart apart. But, Father God, you have grace and mercy for that. We will overcome whatever situation that comes to try to tear us down. We're not going to be teared down in the name of Jesus. But we will continue to rise and say we're the salt of the earth, the light of the earth, and we can't do nothing without Christ. Thank you, Christ, that you paid the ultimate price. Thank you that no matter what, Father God, we are ruled by the Spirit, the Holy Spirit. We are ruled by the Holy Spirit that's brooding over the earth, that's breathing over the earth, that's giving us breath to breathe, that's waking us up, that's making us continue to have another day to spread the gospel, to do what the gospel has called us to do. Father God, let us continue to cling on to the things of the gospel so that we will not be led by our sinful selves, but we will be led by the Spirit of God and the Spirit of God is your word no matter what father you deal with the word son you are the word spirit you are the word so all you are the word so no matter where we go we can't miss a beat with you because all three of you are the word and when you guys come into our lives you do the transformation needed in order for us to leave our sinful selves behind so we can have you really 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 living inside of us like really living inside of us so i can see that there's a chance to see that god is good god is amazing god is the god of no other thank you heavenly father that no matter what you have created us to be the best versions of ourselves no matter what you have created us to walk by faith and not by sight <clears throat> Thank you that no matter what, you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Thank you no matter what, you are here with us and you're covering us and you're shielding us just like you say on Psalm 91. And we pray Psalm 91 to everyone that taps into this video in the name of Jesus. So Father God, let us remember Romans 8, 9 says, but you are not ruled by your sinful selves. You are ruled by the Spirit. If that Spirit of God really lives in you, okay, you are ruled by the Spirit. If that spirit of God really lives in you, but whoever does not have the spirit of Christ does not belong to Christ. So, Father God, we see the differences here. We see what um, 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 Proverbs, I mean, Psalms 1 say. Those who walk under the counsel of the wicked will become wicked, and those who follow the counsel of the godly will remain godly. So, Father God, rule our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Like Eileen Ministries, private and personal chef services, and we're praying with who? Yes, yes you. you. Delivering kingdom business, but to the world, what, what, period, in Christ Jesus' name. We are reading Romans 8 so that we can be great. To God be the glory. There is no other story. Amen. Now, let's be great with Romans 8. You be blessed. You are loved. You are able to follow God's law. And if you refuse it, you're really not able to obey it so that makes you against God and we don't want to be against God we want to be for the things of God so that our spirit may can rise up like Eileen Ministries private and personal chef services that we're praying with you delivering kingdom business to what's the world what was period in Christ Jesus name on this platform we serve God and no one else on this platform we serve Jesus and no one else on this platform we serve Holy Spirit and no one else like Eileen in ministry say what Romans 8.